Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome if you all are new. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some more summer crafting, some DIY, Dollar Tree, and budget-friendly decor crafts. Listen, I love to share with y'all how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm doing a Cricut Joy giveaway. I love to spoil y'all. And if you wanna share photos of your home decor and DIY projects, pop over to my free Facebook page. But without further ado, let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns. Get out your glitter and paint and let's get to crafting. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you how to make an outdoor solar lamp using one of these Dollar Tree colanders. So I'm just going to take it and I'm going to begin to snip off this larger outer edge. And you will need some fairly sharp scissors. It seemed to work best for me to go ahead and clip through the larger lip of it. I started out just trying to kind of clip the little smaller um, pieces off and then using um, these larger scissors, I just clipped off this first lip and then I'm going around and clipping off the second lip. So basically you just want your colander without that big edge. I also did trim off the little extra tabs at the top with my scissors. And then using these smaller scissors, I'm just taking and I'm going to create like a little hole in the center. And that's where my solar lamp um, part is going to come into play. So just grab one of those little solar stakes from Dollar Tree and they actually um, remove from the stake part and you can use that top part and pop it down into your solar lamp. So the next thing I decided to do to make it look a little bit more high end and less like a colander, I just used this black Rust-Oleum 2X spray paint and gave it a nice good coat of spray paint. And you can also lay down a spray adhesive Mod Podge and then add your spray paint. That helps your spray paint last even longer if you're gonna be using this outside. Then I went ahead and popped that solar lamp um, down inside of my little solar lamp. And then I just used some of these Dollar Tree chains and this is just comes in one pack and you can take the chains and gently kind of poke them into the top part of the colander and then you want to try to space them out as evenly as possible into these three sections and then you have a fabulous little lamp on a total budget now I'm going to go back in and even trim up those little edge pieces. And you may want to grab an extra colander. I thought about that. Mine turned out fine, but it might be um, just worthwhile in case, you know, some of those plastic clips kind of clip off too easily or whatnot. But here it is, there it was kind of in the nighttime, what it would look like. And here it is kind of what it would look like in the daytime. And I think it's so fabulous, you guys. It's such a fun and easy way, great for patios or even that little space um, that you just need a fun little light so fun fabulous on a budget Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I wanna share with y'all how to make an awesome little planter box using two of these Dollar Tree signs and two of these Dollar Tree little smaller picture frames. So I took the picture frame, I removed the original insert, and then I cut this cute little buffalo check plaid um, a paper that I found at Hobby Lobby and I inserted that into my little mini picture frames and then I just replaced the little backing to them. I lined them up to make sure that they were going to fit correctly and then I removed the little tab um, from the back part of the picture frame. We're not going to need that. I also removed this little top piece. And if you don't have this particular sign, Dollar Tree always for every season is gonna carry a sign that is this size. So don't panic. I know you guys can find this. And the other thing is you could just use a piece of scrap wood as well. So then I'm taking some hot glue and I'm going to hot glue the picture frame on either end of my little Dollar Tree sign. And then I'm going to take the other side and make it a fresh flower market. So on one side, it could be fresh flower market for spring and summer and the other side it could be weed it and reap um, when you're doing more planting or when you just want to have a different look which is super fun okay so don't worry about the interior of it it's going to be totally covered up now i'm taking the other extra longer piece of the signs i had three of these signs actually and i'm going to add some hot glue and then just pop my little planter box on top of that and of course i'm not using any kind of real dirt or plants inside of this so it really 
does it matter? Um, but Dollar Tree is carrying these cute little burlap, um, little garden goodies. And I'm just going to take some of the Dollar Tree raffia and pop that down inside of here. Now you don't have to use the raffia, but I did kind of like the way that it looked a little bit full. I'm also looking forward to fall and Christmas thinking, I know Dollar Tree is going to carry like some little mini leave bundles like these. And these are the summer ones that are out. In fact, a friend of mine sent these to me and they worked perfectly inside of here. Oh my goodness, you guys check this out. Look at how adorable this is. I feel like it's so kind of a French farmhouse chic. And again, you guys can change it out for anything. And I even added in some little lavender sprigs because I wanted the fresh flower market part to show out. And I thought about it once I put the greenery down in there and I thought, oh, well, I needed to probably add some fresh flowers since it does say fresh flower market. Anyway, I thought this was a really fun idea and make you maybe you guys can take Take it and create something similar with some goodies that you might have laying around your house as well. Now for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you how to make a super adorable farmer's market little sign. Okay, so I'm taking this farmer's market sign that I found at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove it from the other pieces of the sign. It's super easy to do. And then using a zip tie, I'm just going to zip tie it to this little green styrofoam wreath that I also found at the Dollar Tree. Now Dollar Tree was also carrying these really cute little mini gardening um, sign tools and they're kind of like that hard cardboard. So I'm just going to take them and zip tie them onto the styrofoam. And I ended up um, just hot gluing the third one to the base of it. So you could probably hot glue, but I thought since these were a little bit smaller and didn't have as much to hold onto, I would just zip tie those and then add some greenery over it. Then I'm taking some little Dollar Tree seed packets. I actually had intended to plan plant these in the spring, but I thought that the little packets were so pretty um, that I would just go ahead and use them on this wreath. And I could also cut the little back and get the seeds out and then still use them on the wreath. Now I'm taking some Dollar Tree greenery and I'm just going to hot glue the greenery in and around these parts of the sign. So really this you guys can just get totally creative with, you know, use some seed packets, use some cute little signs that you might have and some little greenery and you have this fabulous little gardening um, wreath on a total budget and this is going to be perfect for a little she shed or anybody that loves gardening. Now Dollar Tree also carries these little moss um, styrofoam stone type things. I thought they would be cute to add in as well. And then it would even be cute to add some of the flowers um, that were in the seed packets. I didn't really have a whole lot of mini flowers on hand, um, but I just thought this was so fun and just such a celebration of right now when everybody's going to be gardening and thinking about being outside. I know we are right now. It's summer here. It's really actually been a pretty mild start to our summer. We haven't had a lot of hot weather yet, but I know it's on its way. Now I'm going to make a quick little Olivia bow with this Dollar Tree wired ribbon. You're just going to take the ribbon, loop it over on itself until you get two loops on each side. And then I'm going to tie off this little jute um, twine and then use that to tie onto the wreath. Now I did go back in with the zip tie to secure the bow a little bit better. It wasn't quite as tight as I wanted it. And then I'm just taking this Dollar Tree gingham ribbon. I tied a little double loopy bow, which is just a, like a shoelace bow. You just double up the ribbon. And then I tied another cute little loopy bow with a jute twine to stick on top of that. So it's got three layers with different textures, which I thought was really fun. I also added a little bow to my little um, gardening tool over there. But you guys, for this one, the sky is totally the limit. You guys can just have so much fun with this one and get so creative. And you could put gardening gloves in this. I thought about making it on a larger scale, but I just thought I really wanted to use up these little smaller pieces first. So I may do a larger one and I do love to garden. And it's more of my gardening is more flower gardening. It's not so much like vegetable gardening, but maybe one day I will go for some vegetables. I actually do have some tomatoes out right now that are doing really well. So fun and fabulous on a budget. 
For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how you can make a super easy little Dollar Tree plant stand using one of these Dollar Tree wooden plaques. Now the wooden plaques are in the crafters square and I'm just taking my Waverly chalk paint and this brush that I picked up. It's super nice. I think it's for chalk painting or maybe for applying wax, but it's really soft and amazing. I think I grabbed it at Home Depot, but I applied one coat to each side of the little um, wooden plaque and then I'm taking some of the Dollar Tree Jenga blocks and I'm going to use my chalk paint and chalk paint four of the Jenga blocks and these are going to be the legs of my little plant stand. I'm actually going to use it as a riser for my other DIY where I created the flower box that says um, farmer's market on one side and weed it and reap on the other or I believe it says flower market. Anyway I'm going to go ahead and paint my little Jenga blocks and really you guys could stain these. You could paint them any color that suits your fancy see whatever your decor is in your home and again these little crafters square wooden plaques are going to be awesome I did pick up a couple of them because I'm thinking ahead for fall and Christmas of course I'm just using my hot glue gun and I hot glued the little jenga blocks to the um, bottom of the plaque and then I decided to make it look a little bit more rustic and I added in a little bit of Waverly antique wax around the edges just to kind of give it a little bit more character and then I also used a sanding block to kind of sand that down a little bit. Now I will recommend that you do the the staining and the sanding before you add the legs because I did have to re-glue one of my little legs but here is how it looks. I put my fresh flower market box on top of it and I think it's the perfect riser. There's so many things you can do with this. You guys could even seal this um, with some waterproof Mod Podge and put it next to your sink with a cute little bottle of soap and a little plant on it. I mean there's just so many fun ideas for this one. So for this next Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how you can create some little Dollar Tree kind of like little mini stand-up signs. I'm taking this little Stay in Alive sign. I found this at Dollar Tree. It was part of one of those hanging signs. And then these are just the little Dollar Tree plant um, tag stakes. So what you would write what your plant is, but I popped it on to the back of this little, and these are just like little cardboard signs um, of the staying alive. So here's one of the other ones that had just like a bunch of greenery on it. And I thought it would be fun to take and make the greenery kind of stand up almost like a 3d little sign just to put in and around like a little coffee bar or something fun. And so I'm going to layer these and add these to the front of this sign. Dollar Tree always carries so many fun signs especially the hanging ones. I always encourage you guys to pick those up because there's so many things that you can do with them. You can get so creative with them. I don't usually ever use them as they're intended just to hang, but they are cute. But I just want to make a cute like little clustered sign because you guys know I love to decorate my coffee bar and little spaces in my home and create vignettes. And I thought this would just be so perfect and fabulous for a gardening idea on a budget. And here is how it turned out. I think it's really super cute and you can use the little stake to pop into like a little gardening um, planter box and then the little sign because it has the backing from the photo frame on it. It's just going to stand right up and it just give you kind of some fun little gardening vibes, which I think is just so great during the summer to really bring the outdoor feeling inside of your home.
For this next Dollar Tree DIY, this is gonna be super easy. I'm just gonna take a Dollar Tree plastic planter and I'm gonna add some of the little gravel, the Dollar Tree stones to the center. And that's gonna be kind of like my styrofoam. And then I'm using these long Dollar Tree green picks to kind of pick in and make a cute little fun floral. I thought it would be an interesting way to create a floral instead of using foam. I'm actually out of all of my foam. I love to do so many florals as you guys probably know by now, but you guys can just take some random little florals that you might have, add some rocks to a container, and you could even pop a little hot glue in to this because those little stones probably aren't gonna move around a lot if you really wanted it to keep in there. But I wanna be able to have the versatility of pulling these out and redoing these and making them fun and different and changing them out seasonally. So I'm just using some Dollar Tree greenery and some of these Dollar Tree white flowers. I want it to remain pretty neutral right now for this one, just kind of make it feel like it's a little bit gardeny and all of that kind of fun stuff. Now, some of them didn't want to stay as well as I wanted, so I did have to kind of push the greenery part up a little bit on the stem. If you guys happen to get some of those Dollar Tree greenery pieces, that's the way you can work that magic. So I just think that this is a fun idea and you know, just any little bit of greenery in my opinion around the house is just really nice to have for these summer months. And this size is also really nice because it's really easy to pop into a coffee bar on a window seal or really wherever um, suits your fancy that you need a fun little greenery piece. And here is how it turned out, popped in into this little summertime garden setting. I just think it's so fun and fabulous to add these fun summertime vibes with lots of greenery and happiness. And I hope you guys are looking forward to this summer with so much joy. So as always, comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreating. And also, as always, I have to share with you guys my little puppy dog, Benji Bear. So share with me your puppy dog, kitty cat, or your favorite pet drop their name down below that will enter you guys into the Cricut Joy giveaway and I love y'all. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. Listen, I feel like crafting and decorating is so good for your heart and soul and I just want to encourage you all to keep up the good work crafting and decorating and putting one foot in front of the other. We are all going through something at some point in time and I just want you guys to stop right now and just take a minute, take a deep breath and just know that every time that we are given a new day, it's God giving us a new chance to just keep going, keep encouraging others, to keep spreading joy as much as we can. And I love y'all and you've got this, okay? So um, anyway, I just wanna thank you guys for being here. And also, hey, if you wanna pop over to my Facebook page, I do have Olivia's Romantic Home Facebook page. I have a free group page. So if you guys like to share photos of your home decor and DIY projects, you can pop over there and join. It's totally free. It's just a little fun group and I try to keep up with it the best that I can. I see all of you guys' posts. I don't always have time to comment, but I just want you guys to know that you're doing an amazing job. And for me, crafting and decorating is not always about how amazing the result is. It's about the process. It's about the journey and it's sometimes just therapy for me. So the fact that you guys click on this video, the fact that you guys want to join me in my little journey, wow, it really means the world. And also, hey, listen, I want to let you guys know that a lot of my ideas I share with you guys are just for inspiration. So where whatever decorating style you have or you know, however you guys wanna change it up, um, change your paint color, change your ribbon color, and then you can make something your own. And I want to congratulate everybody that has taken my ideas and made something beautiful. Maybe you've given it to a family or a friend or you've started your own little business or um, your own YouTube channel, Facebook group pages. Listen, you guys keep going. Um, when God blesses you with the talent, which I know you guys have, um, you're just gonna continue to grow in that. And I know even some of you guys have told me that you're coming together as families with your kids, your grandchildren, and crafting, and there's nothing better than families coming together and sharing those moments. So. 
I just want you guys to know that I love you. I know I got a little long-winded in this um, outro, but I just love y'all so much. I'm so thankful that y'all are here. And I just want to keep you guys going and keeping one foot in front of the other. So I'm gonna let you guys get back to your day. I can't wait for our next video. And until then, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.